This is a Saturday morning. We're down at the Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, a little bit of business and a little bit of pleasure. Uh, this weekend was the uh, 14th annual Solo and Small Firm Conference uh, for the Missouri Bar, and I had the I had the fortune to run into an old friend, Tom Burke, from St. Louis, who's the current president of the Missouri Bar. Tom, good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you, Mr. Mayor. It's uh, it's Saturday morning. We've had a couple of good days of the conference. It's going to end here at noon. You made some remarks the other day at the opening ceremonies that I thought were uh, really pretty interesting. Uh, lawyers uh, in in uh, today's world, uh, but specifically uh, lawyers uh, and the, the role they might play in today's changing economy and some of the challenges we're facing. Can you uh, can you kind of give me your thoughts in that regard? Well, the economy is uh, stressed. Financial situation for people uh, is difficult for a lot of folks. So. Lawyers have always been uh, sort of the glue in our society and really play an important role in keeping things on an even keel, keeping things moving forward, uh, really providing stability to, to, to our society. So that role is even more important now in these difficult, uncertain times. Uh, the role of lawyers as counselors, the role of lawyers uh, in handling different cases that come up in the of family law, and employment law, uh, in, in particular, uh, real estate matters. Uh, all, the, all those things are, are, are stressful in situations for people. And uh, lawyers, by going through the process, going through the procedure, counseling, really help to uh, uh, calm the waters, if you will, give stability, and uh, help, help us through uh, some, some, some difficult times. This is a, a conference uh, geared to solo and small firm practitioners. About a, about 950 it's uh, uh, attended, plus uh, spouses and family. It's really kind of a huge event that's grown over over the years. I noticed a lot of the programs, uh, and gosh, there are probably 40 or 50 different programs that you can plug into. But Tom, a lot of the programs were were directly relevant to today's economic times and and how lawyers might serve their clients better. Well, the the uh, conference itself is fantastic. I mean, 950 lawyers is just an astounding number to get together at a conference like this. Uh, the turnout is excellent, especially in these times. I mean, the economic situation affects lawyers as well. Uh, business, I think, for lawyers is is also uh, slow or down a little bit. So for all, for these folks to come out and, and these numbers is really remarkable. But the reason they do is because the, the programs and uh, things presented here are extremely helpful, sort of nuts and bolts information in their practice. And in particular, how to deal with uh, some of the specific things that are going on with uh, foreclosures, f family, uh, families in transition, uh, employment issues, and uh, the programs that are presented are uh, something that lawyers can plug into and take back to their practices uh, with immediate benefit. You mentioned something in your remarks that that, that that I think would be very interesting. You're you're um, you're the bar president for a year, right? That's right. Yes. Yep. And you indicated that uh, one of the most interesting things was to uh, try to go around. Uh, I, I guess have you been to each county bar association or well, almost? I haven't or? been to every county bar, but I've been to about 90 counties in Missouri. So, I, and I've got about four months left in the term, so I'll get around. It must be a huge variety of. Of, of uh, people that you experience, uh, the the law itself is very is is very um, uh, multifaceted. But I'll bet you see a lot of a lot of different lawyers and a lot of a lot of different settings. Well, the interesting thing it's true. I mean, there's a big difference between, uh, say, the city of St. Louis and Nottoway County, for instance, or uh, or down in, in Druthersville, or or, uh, or or Taney County between those places in Jeff City. So there is a lot of variety, lots of different uh, sort of uh, different cultures really within the state of Missouri. I mean, it's a big state, borders on eight other states. Um, but w within that difference, the, the main thing is that there's a, a lot of uh, things that unite us, not only as Missourians, but as lawyers. So you run into great lawyers, great judges uh, in all parts of the state. And uh, they're, they're, uh, it's, it's a great group of people. They do great work, serve their clients well, serve the state well. And it's really uh, has really given me a great sense of optimism about our state and about our system. And even though times are tough, 
uh, we'll get through it because of a lot of good people working hard to, to see that we do. Well, Tom, thanks for spending a few minutes uh, w with us. Uh, uh, Peggy and I have, have known uh, you and your wife for a long time. It's it's uh, fun as we get older and we we uh, start to do more things. Uh, you know, president of the Missouri Bar and and uh, you know, being mayor is kind of interesting. Who, who would have thought 15, 20 years ago that we'd be sitting here talking about this? But well, it's all it, fun. It's nice to know you, and nice to see you guys. And really, you're an example of a, a really good thing about lawyers, and that is they participate in our communities. That they typically have leadership positions, whether it be political, civic, at church, and business, and that uh, they really give back to the to the to the community. That's important. Tom, th thanks for spending a, a few minutes with us. Have a good rest of the weekend and a good trip back to St. Louis. Thank you very take, much. Take care. Thanks. It work?